I'm so excited to show you a new web tool called Stoodle. And one of the first things that amazes me about this is that it was created by three students. The CEO and founder is a high school senior. And of the two co-founders, one is also a high school senior and the other is a freshman at Stanford. Um, they first started out with this knowing that when students like themselves were having trouble with homework, they always first went to their peers for help. But there really wasn't an adequate way to help other students mobily. So they set up to create a free tool that would allow them to collaborate with their peers in real time through any browser, meaning that it will work on your computer or any mobile device that has internet browsing capability. They even went a step further and made it so simple to use that you don't even have to have an account in order to use it. So in order to use Stoodle, you're going to go to the URL up here, um, or you can always go to Google and Google Stoodle, and you're just going to click launch a classroom. It's going to come up and ask you for your name. You're going to put in what your name is, and you'll hit OK. Um, it might ask you if you want to allow it to use your microphone. So know that you can turn this on and off. Um, but another great thing about this is when students use this URL up here at the top now, um, if they put it in their computer at home or on their mobile device, if you set it to allow your microphone, they are going to be able to hear your audio so you can walk them through the process, which is really, really awesome as well. If you don't want to do the microphone, you also have a chat and participants down here as well. Now, any student that goes to this URL, they're going to get that first initial box asking them for their name. So whatever they put as their name, you're going to start to see a whole list of participants in here as well. If you don't want to use the audio chat, you can use the text chat there as well. But I'm going to show you some things about this. It's really amazing. You have your pen tool over here at the right. You can choose your different colors down here at the bottom. You can write out your problem. And um, you can also add text. If ever you want to move anything, this is your move tool. So you'll click on that. You can move your text wherever you want it to go. And if you want to delete something, this is your delete tool. Now one thing that I love about the delete tool is you'll notice when I did this writing, it recognizes each of these as an individual writing. Each time you take up your pen, it's going to see it as a different image. So if I want to delete the three, I can. And I can come back in here and put something else in as well. Um, you can rotate the screens as well. So those are all your tools on your right side. Um, on your left side, it's going to give you the options to share through social media um, or email. You can draw shapes. And again, you can change the colors down there at the right. Again, you can always move those shapes around once you've created them. So you have your square, your circle, and your um, line. You also can upload an image. So it's going to ask you to click and drag to set the image size. One thing I will tell you, and um, I do love that it gives you a lot of different options here to find your images. I'm going to choose file because I'm going to upload it from my computer. It will let you upload documents, but it's honestly looking for an image. So images work much better when you do it that way. Um, you also can clear the whole page by clicking on delete. Um, you can also down here you'll see the arrows to the left and right. You can do different pages with this. So if you want to go back and forth without clearing the whole page, then do it with these left and right arrows and create new pages as opposed to clicking on that and clearing the current page. Now, this works great as a screen sharing tool. Um, it's hard for me to demonstrate it in this video, but if a student were to pull up this URL in their browser on their iPad, a student is still going to have all of these same tools. It's an amazing tool. It blows my mind that two high school seniors and a college freshman created this web tool, but they did such an amazing job. It's free. It's simple to use. And it is probably one of the best collaboration tools that you can use with your students or your students can use it with themselves.